Okay, so what I think I'm going to do today is just, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do today. <laughs> I'm going to make it up as I go along. I have picked some colors already, and I think I'm going to do some blue and green, um, some bright kind of green and then soft blue over it, kind of um, working with that. Um, most of the time, that's what I do. I have no real idea of what I want to do until I get in here and <laughs> start working. Um, so I'm just going to start by using a little bit of white gold dry um, on the inner corners because, I don't know, I have a feeling I'm going to want that. So I'm just going to do that now. And that's all I'm going to do is like put it on the inner corner right here. And um, then if I want to go back and put more later or foil it or whatever, I'll do that. But basically, I'm just going to... Just to brighten up those inner corners. Um, and that can just help your eyes look kind of bigger. Okay. The next color I'm going to use is Sour Apple by Pure Lux. And um, what I have in mind, I guess, is something kind of like green in the middle of my eye. Um, and then I want to layer, a lightly layer, um, some seashore, I think it's called seashore, over that. But I just want the green to kind of peek through and um, accentuate the kind of light blue-green that I'm going to use later. And I'm just doing that dry with a um, concealer brush again. I use this brush a lot. <laughs> this is good too because it's kind of a flat brush and so you can get right into that lash line there. And that'll also create a ba base for your liner. And I just did that sort of lash to crease, not even all the way into the inner corner or outer corner. So, um, and I'm putting it on heavy so that um, if I put something over it or if I decide to blend it, you know, it won't just disappear right away. is pretty. It's a bright green, but it's got a little bit of gold in it, too. Uh, so, right now, all I have is the green, and it's very bright. I love it. Since I'm not sure exactly how I want it to look, I'm just going to take a little bit of the seashore. Um, that's what it, yep, the seashore, and um, kind of pat that over the, um, sour apple, but not on top of it, but just kind of above it and like a little rainbow above it. Um, so I'm going to start at the inner corner and kind of overlap it and move my brush kind of quickly so that it blends in with the edges there. And then if I want it to be more, you know, uh, to be brighter or something like that, I can go back and foil it in the place that I've already been because looking at it in the mirror here, I, I'm not seeing a lot of distinction between the blue and the green. So, But that's okay, because this will give me a nice base that's already blended. Maybe I'll just go above the crease a little bit at the seashore. Like that. Okay. So I might go ahead and, and foil it a little bit. But I'm going to do it dry just the same way on the other eye so that they're the same intensity. Because when you have something down and then you foil it on top of it, it'll, it'll make it darker. So if you're having trouble um, getting your foiling to show up, that's one technique you might try. is just putting down a layer of the shadow dry and then um, foiling it on top of that. So now that the green and the blue are really well blended there. Now I don't want the seashore to be overwhelming to the green apple, so I put some of the foiling 
mixture on my brush and then I um, kind of got rid of some of it on my hand uh, so it's not going to be as thick uh, going on that'll just be a nice light foiling so sometimes when I'm writing my descriptions of what I do I say I, I've lightly foiled something and that's usually what I mean is that I just had a little bit on my brush and I foiled it with just that little bit. Okay, I think that's looking better. So I have the foiled uh, seashore in the crease and on the inner corner. Well, not all the way onto the inner corner, just on the inner corner of my eyelid. Blue and green look so good together. So. You could do any blues and greens together and get a nice effect. I wanted to do something light and summery, so. Okay, now I'm just going to take a little bit more of the white gold, the Bare Essentials white gold, and um, put it, um, use it to kind of blend um, the seashore because it's kind of high into the crease. And so, and I'm going to do that little circular motion. And this will just give you a little bit of a halo of color too, above the crease. Um, and if you want to, you can just kind of use the brush and kind of flatly take it all the way up, just so it looks more uniform and you don't have any defined lines and everything looks blended. I think that looks better already. Okay. And then just do the other side. And this will be good for my highlight color. I started out with my usual prime time and uh, well rested clear radiance mix, but I didn't use the highlight color because um, I wanted to use it to blend this way. So, and so now it actually kind of looks like a, a very light blue as a highlight color because it mixed in with the blue. There you go. Okay, so what I want to do is now just line my eyes with Turquoise C, um, which just came out in a kit from Bare Essentials, and it was kind of hard to find before that, but um, so you can get it now, which is great. And it's a beautiful dark turquoise color, so it's a good liner. Um, it's a good base color, though, too. Like, if you wanted to do a, the layering technique, you could use Turquoise C and then a blue or a green on top of that. Oh, that would look really pretty. Uh, and it's going to look nice and bright here with these colors, but um, it does kind of look tame sometimes when you're just wearing it with other blues. I'm going to sneeze. Okay, I'll let her know. Okay, now I do have lots of fallout in my lashes, so I'll have to go ahead and get rid of that later. But that's basically the liner. Um, you could put it on the bottom if you wanted. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that today. I'm just going to leave it like this and just kind of clean up my lashes and put on some mascara. And then I'll be all done. Um, okay, and that's basically the look. So thanks for watching.